Hello everybody, this is MJ from Creative Minds. How are you doing today? I must say I am in a really good mood. I don't know why, but I'm just really, really happy today. So I thought I would make a really quick video on beveling your edges. I know when I first started out with polymer clay and I would be watching some videos, I heard the term beveling and I thought, okay, what is that? The only thing I know about beveling is in Microsoft Word. So I wasn't sure exactly what it meant, but now I know and I want to make sure that you guys understand what beveling is, especially, you know, if you're a beginner, you might not know. So this video is to help you with that. It's going to be short and sweet. Before we get to that, if you could do me a huge favor, do us a huge favor here at Creative Minds, hit the subscribe button because we are really trying to put together a lot of videos for you, how-to videos, you know, the DIYs with polymer clay, resin, wire. We have so much other stuff we want to show you, but we want to know that you're interested in it. So please hit the subscribe button and let us know that you're interested in what we are going to be presenting to you or what we have to offer you. So, okay, now let's get right to it. First of all, let me explain what is a beveled edge. So if you look at, these are just some pieces that I had made, not for this video, but just prior. If you look at this piece right here, this is a, a necklace, and you can see that it is on the side of it here. It is very, very, it's a sharp edge. You know, it's straight down. That is not a beveled edge. None of these edges of this piece are beveled. This means that I just use the cutter or my blade and cut out the piece directly for making it however I was going to make it and I did not bevel the edge. Okay? And I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way of beveling. This one kind of looks like it might be beveled, but that's because I put a curve into the piece before I, before I made it. I put a curve into it, kind of like, you know, curving. But it's not beveled. Along the side edge here, you can see that it's straight down. And I don't know what angle I can give you, but it is a straight down angle. It is not beveled, okay? So this is not an example of being beveled. This piece here looks like it's almost beveled. As you can see, the sides are a little bit more, you know, not so cut short, you know, cut straight down, but really it's not beveled and it's not curved either. This is just a flat piece that I made quite some time ago and that shows you that it's, it's not beveled. This one here is really a good definition of what is not beveled. You can see that it is square and it is definitely not beveled. I mean, the sides of it are completely flat and straight. So now that we've gone through these pieces, you can see what is not an example of beveling, okay? And this, however, this piece right here that I made some time ago is beveled. So it doesn't matter what shape it is. It could be round, triangle, square, rectangle, whatever you want, but it's the edge. It's the edge that matters. And this edge here, I hope you can see, is curved. It's, it does not go straight down. It's, it's sort of curved here. And it's sort of gently, like it's sort of pillowed. Like, like in Microsoft Word, when you go to make a document and you're, you're changing your font, you can bevel the font. Same type of thing with this. It's more of a, a curve around your edge, you know? It just doesn't drop down into a cutoff. So I hope that you can see that. I, I don't know if you can, but I wanted to try and give you an example of that, okay? And these are all things, by the way, if you needed a, if you wanted a DIY on any of these pieces, We'll call this, <laughs> we'll call this piece number one. This is piece number two. That's kind of cute. We'll call this piece number three. This is Makumagane. This is piece number four. 
and this would be the beveled edge, piece number five. If you want a tutorial for any one of those pieces, just leave it in the comments below, and maybe we can do that for you. So if we get enough requests, we'll go ahead and do a tutorial on that. But for now, let's show you how to bevel. So I'm gonna show you the first of all, the example of what I showed you in the first round was not beveling. And I'm just gonna use my circle cutter to show you that. Here's a circle cutter, okay? Doesn't matter what the shape is. If I just place the cutter onto some clay, and this is just a, this is Primo clay, and I just go ahead and stick my cutter on there, press down, turn up, okay. That is not beveled. You see how it's nice and sharp? And just a nice clean cut. This is fine if you want your edges like that, but some pieces and some DIYs ask you to bevel the edges. So when you need to bevel, what you need is your clay and a piece of cling wrap or plastic wrap that you get in the grocery store, okay? And all you do is place this down on your piece. Make sure that it's good and straight. Wipe out, you know, all these wrinkles and stuff like that. Get it nice and even on your piece, like so, okay? Make sure there's like not one crease in it. <laughs> because I'm neurotic, so I have to like cut that out of my videos sometimes. But at any rate, you make sure that it's straight, okay, on there, nice, and there we go. Okay, and then what you do is you take your cutter, which again, this is a circle cutter, it doesn't matter the shape, what matters is how you cut it. So you place your cutter over the cling wrap that's nicely placed on clay, you press down again and turn and go ahead and lift up. Now sometimes, you know, like you saw this piece, it lifted right out. Sometimes it's not gonna lift right out of there and that's okay. Um, you just peel this back, all right, and I want to show you what would happen. Okay, you just peel this, this cling wrap back, okay? And I'm giving you an example here. That's why I'm like peeling it like this. Okay, let's pretend that's still stuck on there. You peel it back and this piece is now beveled and I'll show you. But if you do peel it back and some of the cling wrap is stuck on your piece like this, even though this really wasn't stuck, I'm just showing you. Don't dig your nails in it and dig your fingers in it or get it your tools and start picking at it. So all you need to do to fix that is grab yourself a piece of scotch tape. Simple as that. A piece of scotch tape and just stick it onto the cling wrap and pull back and it takes it right off. So you don't have any gouges or anything wrong with your piece after that. So then you take off your ring here and now this piece here is now beveled. So I can go ahead and I'm just gonna carefully pick it up here. The way you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but let, let's, let me put them side by side. You can see that this one is straight and sharply cut, and this one is more rounded. And I hope you can see that. So the next time you see a video where they want you to bevel the edge, that's exactly what you're gonna do to bevel your edges. And it really does make your pieces look nicer and more professional and just gives them a, a better overall look. So that is all for today. So if this video has helped you, please give us a thumbs up. And again, subscribe to our channel because we have a lot coming up and a lot to offer you in the future. And thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.